Welcome to my office. My name is Melissa Stewart and I've written more than 150 books for children. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I use similes in my book, Feathers, Not Just for Flying. A simile is a phrase that uses the words like or as to describe something by comparing it to something else. Here's an example. A killer whale is as big as a school bus. Now if I had said a killer whale is 40 feet long, that wouldn't really mean much to you. It's hard to know exactly what 40 feet is. But if I say it's as big as a school bus, you know exactly how big that whale is. Okay, so let's get back to my book, Feathers, Not Just for Flying. Here's the story behind the book. When I was doing research for another book, A Place for Birds, I came across a really interesting article that mentioned that some birds use their feathers in unexpected ways to distract predators, to hunt for fish and frogs, and even to carry nesting materials. I was fascinated. When I finished writing A Place for Birds, I immediately dove into the research for this new book. I found lots of great examples, so I knew I had plenty of information for a book. But how should I structure the book? I didn't know the answer to this question, so I started playing around with the text. I tried lots of different things. Every time I finished a draft, I asked myself, is this the most interesting way to present the information to my young audience? Believe it or not, it took me three years to find the perfect structure. And that structure depends on similes. The text compares the way that birds use their feathers to the way we use common everyday objects, like blankets and sponges and even sleds. Here's an example. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up its feathers. The feathers trap a layer of warm air next to the bird's skin. We all know that a blanket keeps us warm while we're sleeping, so this simile helps us understand what a blue jay's feathers do. Here's another example. Feathers can soak up water like a sponge. Sand grouses live in hot deserts. The adults can fly to water holes to get a drink and cool off, but chicks can't fly. Luckily, their dad soaks up water with his belly feathers. Then he flies back to the nest and lets his chicks suck his feathers dry. We've all seen a kitchen sponge soak up water, and we know that that water can be squeezed out. So this simile helps us understand how sand grouse's feathers work. A good simile uses something that we know to help us understand something unfamiliar. Now it's your turn. I've created a worksheet with some more examples from feathers, not just for flying. After you finish the worksheet, you can read the book and compare your similes to mine. Who knows? Some of your similes might be even better than mine. You can choose your favorite simile, draw a picture of it, and send it to me. I might even add it to my website or use it on my blog. 